one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Just sort of a vlog type video of the last kind of stuff we've been doing. Um, this is going to pick up the Range Rover finally and doing the um, Parisio, doing some work on it. I've got more work done than you'll see in this video and you'll see the other videos coming up. I'm getting these vlogs put together now and out. Also funny kid moments throughout and stuff. I think we go to Hobby Lobby in the middle of it and just funny quirks and different things. Lots of cars for sale as you can see behind me. Lots of cars for sale. Don't get dizzy. I'm going to go all the way around again. Boom. That's for sale. That's for everything you see is for sale. It's all going. It's all going. It's all going. That's that. Video is awesome. Check it out. Hope you enjoy. Here we go. I always got problems fitting in my stick in tight places. Oh, yeah, man. You got a rake? I can put a couple of hoes in here, too. A couple of hoes? Yeah. You know what a hoe is, right? Do they call it that over there? Uh, I don't think I know when you, when you ask me like that. Ho. Oh, it's not the O. It does According when you say ho, I think of a woman. Well, that's real nice. <laughs> that's real nice of you. Ho, oh, a long-handled gardening tool with a thin metal blade used mainly for weeding and breaking up. I wonder... Hoed, hoed, hoeing. <laughs> hoeing. <laughs> Noun, ho, plural for hose. Plural is hose. Ho, H-O. Ho, a prostitute, a woman. Informal, a prostitute. Offensive, a woman. <laughs> you like that? Oh, okay. What's that called? Like a wooshy wooga or something over there? I got even, I can't remember. Is there a word right though, right? Yeah, there is a word. But it's like a tool word. Look at there's a China ho right there. <laughs> China ho! <laughs> That's just sexist and racist or something. When you and Mario are going to Home Depot or something, you should ask me, Mario, do you have any China hoes? Do you have any China hoes? I'm going to. Anybody know if I can rent a hoe? Do you rent down hoes? <laughs> Home Depot. I'm really digging a hole. <laughs> Brings a whole new meaning to a hoe down. Okay, so over here at the place, Mario's been zipping stuff away. The guys did the porch, and it looks freaking great, except for this board here was dry rotten a little bit. I mean, I can push right through it. And these guys put their stuff right over it. Look at that. Hope I don't drop too much on Mario. These pieces here, same thing. I mean, it just needs to... That, that's got to be replaced. This board on this end too, Mario, you see it? Yeah, this just It's just a one by six or something. Um, cool. So, what do you... Can you look at this um, flange when you get a chance up here, this side, it's missing a bolt. Yeah, I noticed that up there. So I don't know if... Now, if we take off those bolts, it's not going to... Or the thing's going to fall, because the one behind it is screwed through. You know, this thing is screwed through the one by... Does the metal plate go from side to side? Huh? I can't see the whole metal plate. Is the metal plate just four inches, three inches wide here? Yeah, if you take the bolts off, it's going to fall, right? Yeah, this will, right? The this stairs. will, the stairs will fall away. Or it wouldn't fall right away because they're leaning against the porch, but at some point. So, uh, so that's uh, what I'm saying, to really, to replace this two by behind it. Yeah. We'd have to kind of brace the stairs. Right? Unless we're just replacing the bottom three or four inches and shoving something in there, right? I, I could do that. We cut just like this. Basically cut like right here, you know, but uh, the two by. You know, like right here. Yeah. Because that's still four inches from the bolt. Yeah, I just kind of cut like right, kind of like at the bottom of this. Uh, I like there. that. I like that. Don't okay. So over here at the apartments, and McGill and a few people, Gunner, have been working here, and we've all got a lot of stuff done on it, but it's just not done done. Um, it's all white. It's all nice. All the damage from the leak before the roof is repaired is done. 
And it's basically a nice shell of a place where everything is just nice. Got to buy a vent, got to get a thermostat on, got to get the bathroom finished, stuff like that. But it's all white and bright and nice. This dude scares me every time I come around the corner. They don't scare me. But today we're pulling up a lot of this stuff. Don't know how much of this we're going to pull up because it's got a lot of mastic under it. But in here, this room I know has just been added. And getting all the trash out, getting some of this, all this popcorn stuff is off. Gonna get this sealed up up here, nice and cleaned in, and do some texture and replace stuff like this. I think this whole sink system and thing here is coming out and getting thrown away. Uh, we'll see what happens with this, but it's no good. It's not what I want here. Uh, this whole bathroom is being remodeled. We're going to tear all the tile and everything off and redo it. Um, so a big update to the place. And when it's done, it's going to be a nice place that I get more money out of anyways. But there's been a long time coming for all this stuff. And I can't believe that this stuff is what people paint over and everything in this place. It just looks like shot. But what a think. It should have been caulked. I mean, come on, people. So I got some cleanup to do and light stuff on things. All these drawers and all these cabinets, they came, excuse me, all these drawers came out of the cabinets and it's all messed up. We looked at Ikea yesterday for cabinets and all this stuff. We're gonna have to put backing. Basically, what I'm thinking about doing here is gutting this. And I hate to gut it and find out what's behind it before I start really doing it, to it. But I think what I'm gonna have to do is gut it. There is literally just roach poop and dust and dirt and grime and it's gross. It's yucky. Um, it's functional. It's functional. So it should get me past an inspection type thing, but it's just not what we want for this place. Um, this one, I might actually leave this in here. I don't know. It could be cleaned up. It's a nice little cabinet. Why would you? Why would you take out a cabinet? It still seems smart. Um, new lights everywhere, and it's set up. So I'll clip more in a while. We'll see what's going on. And do it, to it. The Range Rover. It's all painted. It's done. The wheels are looking good. This thing is set to be done. We get that all pictured up. The SL down there is already pictured. And Dave is supposed to be moving these three to be done with all his stuff. Yeehaw! Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. I need to get the plate for this and get out. You know, when I did the rims, I thought I was, I was gonna go. Yeah. But the fucking paint was peeling the graphics, so as we start sanding it to feather it out, it comes we on. had to take more, most of the fucking paint out. So we had to take the wheels fucking out, sand all that shit out, fucking do the motherfucker. Well, if you guys took them off, it should look better than this, dude. This is whoever's doing your painting sucks balls and like could use a piece of tape or two somewhere. I mean, man, I could do better than this with them on a truck, but you see what I'm looking at. But just please. Well, you gotta put a brand new one. Put a brand new one. A cover? The whole black, black part's painted. The pan the stinking valve stem. So I'll try to put lacquer on them and clean them up. It's just, it's the same, whatever, I mean, you could tell they didn't put enough paint on this. I mean, they didn't even paint that. They didn't even paint that. I'm just looking at one wheel. I don't want to look at much. I just, it's brighter. I, I, that's not that good, bro. But, um, when do you think on that, um, Mustang? Next week, huh? For sure. Next week? Yeah. I already told Beto right now that starting Monday, fucking put it together and just sprayed it. You're missing a lot of stuff, dude. Like I see, you sanded it. Yeah, we feather it out. I mean, we prepped them correctly, but you know, I guess I missed some spots in the fucking paint. But yeah, we prepped them, we sanded them all out, put all the fucking paint out. Looks brighter than they did, more yeah. of the same color. Yeah, next weekend you can count on the Mustang, Mustang without a doubt.
Okay. I'm gonna see if I can make it up to get gas. Yeah. Well, 7-Eleven. That's where I'm gonna go. I don't think I can make it no further. There's seriously no gas in it, so I'm gonna go right to 7-Eleven. I might need you to help me come push. <laughs> Do we need to push you there? There's nothing in it. Hey, Gunner. Yeah? I'm catching you before Mario leaves. Bad news is the battery's dead, but I gotta turn the car off to pop the gas tank, or the gas tank won't pop with the key on. So... Okay, hang on one sec. Okay, I think I got it. Uh, um, yes, I did get it. I was calling to catch you before Mario because I had to turn it off. But he needs to bring that battery and jumper cables with him, or I might not be able to get started again at Home Depot. Okay, bye, have fun. Okay, got gas. And I am like Willie, and on the road again. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I was sitting here in line waiting. One fire truck blows past me, comes this way, and one blows past me, or not past me. I see one. Yeah, I got one. Okay, cool. Got me a Google Glass video of a fire. Okay, on the way to Home Depot to meet Mario. That's right here. This rover is sweet. Runs like a champ. Runs like a rape tape and pull the bark right off of a tree. Well, at the Home Depot. You know, I don't think I ever call it the Home Depot. It makes me feel like I'm old. I'm saying it's on the Facebook or something like that. Who calls it the Home Depot? I go to the Home Depot. I guess like I'm going to Home Depot. I'm going to the Home Okay, I'll leave it alone. This is a place where you can make anything with. They've got everything. Look at all the fake fruit. See, think about that. What is that? Look at that, Lily. It even feels, this one even feels real. Wow! They are tiny, tiny, and they're sticky too. You can stick them on things like your shoes. Do you see all the buttons, Lily? Oh. Look at all the jewels here. And they're buttons. Them are actually buttons. I really want to have them. We could teach you to sew and you could sew them onto your Sorry. shirt. You already know how you already know how to sew, right? No. No. Oh man. Too young. In like in like Cambodia they're that age and they like make they make Nikes. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, that's what Nike's known for, kind of. <laughs> We're gonna make a uh, quilt. Why don't we make a quilt? We're gonna quilt our um, memories. $9 per yard. Um, For my wedding dress, I don't know. When am I gonna get married? So, I don't know about that, Lily. Maybe no one wants to marry me. <laughs> Apple, Apple, you could have this for your wedding dress. We'll see, we'll see. If um, someone wants to. You know, I could play along right now with what she's like saying here. And I could be like, oh, you think she's gonna wear. I, <laughs> I say, oh, you think. <laughs> oh, mean? You mean like what you were saying? Look at this is sparkly. <laughs> I don't know about that, Lily. It's too sparkly. You see that part with the hole? Mm -hmm. Your finger has to go away from that and then just push it down. But only push it for a little teeny while. Like, that's it. Just do it real quick. Point it at me. 
Not in my face, like this. Go. Okay. Don't point at yourself. Okay. Perfect. So when Gunner, when you see him, just empty the can on him. Empty. <laughs> just keep spraying. <laughs> keep spraying. Come on, let's go. Exactly. What about that movement? Hashtag me too. Pound me too. Pound me too? <laughs> no. I guess I'm wrong. I know, huh? That's horrible, Mario. Go for it. Go for Stop. it. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Everybody's eating. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. <laughs> no, no more, no more. We're done. <laughs> We're done now. <laughs> oh, Lily. Oh, just wait. Just wait. <laughs> Did you hear what you said? Outside. Outside. Then you can get it. It just got the inside lift of your drink a little bit, dude. No, it's fine. It's fine. No, no, no. No more. No more. I said we said no more. You can't do it. It's funny then, but only once. Oh, dude. I'll buy you a new drink. No. Yep. What? I didn't know you guys had a kid. Oh, yes, point one alcohol. Yeah, I can't drive back. I need to get a ride. Lily. I'll get her a kid's meal. I'll buy her dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we we look fun. Yeah. <laughs> Ellie and Lily, you know. Close, huh? <laughs> she said she thought you guys are most fun already. I was like, oh. You guys are multiplying. I didn't even see this get up there. Party street multiplying. Don't worry, buddy. I can't bring it anyways. I can't bring the food. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. I got her with it, and then she goes, she wanted to do somebody. I go, well, you can do it to me. And then, well, who else can I do? Well, you can get Gunner when he gets here. <laughs> I'm going to get you. <laughs> Did you see her asking me the whole meal? Can I do it now? Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. Awesome stuff, fun times, more of it coming up, and car reviews, lots of them coming up. I just filmed the Magnum out there yesterday, and there'll be more coming. Thanks for watching.